All right, the final phase is underway for a campaign to build an autism nature trail at Letchworth State Park. We're joined now by Lauren Penman. She's the co-chair for the Autism Nature Trail. Good uh, morning. Good morning. Yeah, Lauren, we were just talking about how beautiful Letchworth State Park is, how big it is, Indeed. and how you guys want it to be enjoyed by everybody. Th that is the goal. Inclusion mm -hmm. is, is the goal of the mm. Autism Nature Trail. Everyone should be able to participate in the number one state park in the country. So we're talking during the break. The actual trail is already in existence but what is going to make this autism friendly is the stations that you guys are planning talk about the design of these stations and what they'll include it, we've had some amazing experts who've been mm. advising us on this project starting with with dr temple grandin probably the, wow. uh, the <laughs> name that is most yeah. closely yes. associated with autism in this country and she said, don't, don't build a strip mall nature trail. Mm. Make sure that you are in deep nature and that you build in um, stations, activities that will challenge the sensory processing and integration abilities of our target population. Wow. So that's what each of these stations does in a different way. These wow. designs that we're showing right now are, are really incredible. This is a big undertaking. It, it is. It, it's, it's more than a, a simple walk in the woods, mm -hmm. but it will make it safe and engaging and very unique. Uh, according to Dr. Grandin, there is nothing quite like this in the country. Wow. I was going to say, this is a, a first of its kind in the area. We just saw recently the uh, Galasano Children's Center opening up. So there are incredible resources in this community for autism. This is another Absolutely. step in that direction, it is, right? It is. The Levine Autism Clinic uh, brings people from all over the world. Uh, the Galasano Autism Center, mm -hmm. and now this third leg of services uh, for, for outdoor recreation uh, will make it very appealing. In terms of fundraising, mm -hmm. are you guys about halfway there? Where are we in this? A little more than halfway. Our, our budget is $3.9 million. Okay. That includes an endowment to staff and program and maintain it okay. in addition to the, to the build. We are at about $2.2 million now and we've launched a public phase. We need everyone's help to get us to the finish line. Which is incredible. What do people need to know if they want to be a part of this, if they want to help? The easiest thing is to go to the website, autismnaturetrail.com. There's lots of information there, and uh, you can be on our mailing list. You can make a donation right online. Uh, we, we need all kinds of help from, mm. from small donors to major sponsors. Lauren, what was it about this project specifically that drew you to it? It, it was a, a story, actually, that a neighbor told me that her grandson with autism, who was nonverbal and in a constant state of agitation, mm. was only at peace when he was at Letchworth. Mm. And it, we did some research and found that there might be something to the, um, the calming influences of this particular park that make it wonderful for everyone, but may be extra special for those um, on the spectrum. How incredible. How many, uh, we discussed kind of like the design of the stations, what they're going to include. How many stations are you planning and how far will this trail stretch? It's a one mile loop. Okay. And there are eight stations along the way. Mm. Yeah. One mile is manageable. Exactly. Yeah. But there's also a cut through at halfway th on the trail. If you've decided you've had enough, uh, if the weather suddenly turns, you can get back to civilization very quickly. Oh, looking at the designs, it looks like it's something everybody can enjoy. Not only people with autism, but their families, their siblings, as we know, trying to get everyone to do something together can't be easy some of these days. We hear that from families again and again. This yeah. is something that everyone in the family can enjoy. Everyone can learn something from it. It's not age dependent. Mm -hmm. I think a, a preschooler will get something different than a high schooler. Um, and an octogenarian will, will enjoy it just as well. Yeah, just an incredible outing for the whole family. Best of luck, and uh, we'll encourage people to head to the website and help out with this project. Lauren, thank you so much for coming in this thank morning. Thank you both very much.